how to make your very own inserts. So I am all about customizing my own inserts. Um, there's never one that's just right for me, so I have to make my own. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily make your own in Microsoft Excel. So we just opened up Excel and we're just going to change the page size first. So we're just going to click on page file page setup and then click options and then change the paper size to your paper size. So I usually make mine for my mulberry. So I would just click mulberry here, but if you don't have these set on your computer yet, you can click on manage custom sizes and then just put the dimensions of your paper size in the width and height in inches. And then just set everything else to zero. Press OK. 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 And you see these blue lines? I, I like viewing them in the page layout form so I can see what I'm actually working with. So then I just uh, click view page layout. And then the next thing you want to do is change your margins. So I just like using them as narrow. So you just go to layout, margins, and narrow. And then um, I just adjust it here. So I'm going to make my top margin a little higher and my bottom margin a little lower. So that's my workspace. And then um, the next thing you want to do is just start creating your inserts. So let's say I really want a week on one page for my new setup. So I'm just going to um, put Monday, just use all caps, and then skip a line for the date, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And now I have all this space left, so I'm just going to change the row height of this. So you just highlight the rows, right click, and click on row height. And I'm probably going to change it to about 0 0.3. And it's still not the whole page, so I'm just going to make it a little bigger, 0 0.35. And I think that looks good. So. And then the next step is to change your margins. So I'm just going to change this first column just to fit the date. And then I'm just going to make the second margin a little bigger. So, and I always leave space right here to hole punch. So on the first page I leave um, space on this side and for the second page I leave space on this side so that when you hole punch you hole punch right here and right here and you have the week on two page view. So after you do all that you're just going to let's just center this and then you're going to need lines. To make the lines for your layout you're just going to highlight everything and then you just click on this box right here to apply borders. And I'm just going to do an outside border. You see it made a box around the whole thing. So, and I want lines in between each um, day. So I'm just going to highlight the whole thing. Click on outside borders. Highlight that. And just keep repeating it for each day. There. So see now I have this um, box. Oh, and I also want a line right there. So I'm just going to click on that and outside borders. And there. So now my days are separated from the blank boxes. And I think that looks pretty good to me. So for this side, I'm 
going to just put weekly notes, weekly goals and notes. So I'm just going to have one column, just one big column. And then I'm just going to write weekly notes or weekly goals. And then probably down here, just notes. Let's paste that. And center, center. And then I want that to be a box. And this to be a box. And then maybe make that a box. And this, and that a box. Okay, so it's pretty simple. And then um, I'm just going to highlight everything and make everything centered there. So that's uh, basically it. Um, we're just going to change this right here. Let's move this a little. Sometimes it's a little tricky, so I'm just going to insert a column. I usually just uh, make an extra column so that I can get each of the whole spacing size to be equal. So I'm just messing with the columns until I'm happy with them. You see it makes a border for these as well. I'm just going to want to click on no border for those. But then when you click do that, this gets all wonky too so you gotta keep adjusting this side doesn't have a border again uh, an easier way is just going to border options and then deselecting what you don't want okay so make that a little smaller so it fits on the page and see now I have this space on this side and space on this side so that it's all equal. So you just want to make it fit on your page. So now I have space for holes and I have my month on, I mean my week on one page and then my weekly goals and notes on the other page. And then the fun part is just changing the font. So we're just going to click on or highlight everything and change the font to whatever you like. Okay, it's really slow. Okay, so let's just choose a font that we like. Um, let's just go with this one. Simple. I like that. So yeah, so you just change the font to whatever you want. You can get free fonts um, all over the internet. So you just, um, whatever you like. And yeah, that's basically how I make my inserts on Excel. Um, you can customize it. If I wanted to, I can add another column to this maybe so I can separate my weekly goals. Um, it gets a little tricky from there. I can like insert a column I can make the goals and notes smaller and I can maybe make an extra column right here. Say if I wanted to have a to-do list or something like to-do or to go expenses and then notes so I could just center all that just the sizes of these I like making them even so this is 1.5 this is let's just make them 1.6 them nice and even so yeah so you can just customize it just like that by using the columns and the rows and the borders 
So yeah, if I wanted lines right here, I can just highlight that and click on inside borders and it'll make a line. So if you want lined pages, you can just do that and you can even change your border option. So say if you wanted dotted lines, you'll just click on you know, one of these and then I can make that a dotted line. See, so you are so after you are done making your inserts the way you like, we're just gonna preview it. So to preview it, we're just gonna go to File, um, Print, but we're not gonna print it. We're just gonna look at it. Okay, so you see that's how it looks. Up, oh, gotta take out that line. So see, so you can see it without all the grid lines behind it. So that's what it'll look like when it prints. And then. To save it, you just go to File, Save As, and you go to the format right here and change it to PDF. And click Save. So that's basically it. And then when you save it, it'll open up as a PDF, which is, you know, a lot easier to print from. Because uh, when you save this in Excel, it will open up back. Um, as a page setup, as a full page setup, so it would be 8.5 by 11 again instead of uh, your paper size. So it's really good to save it as a PDF if you're done with it. Um, or else every time you open up this uh, workbook, it's gonna, you're gonna have to do the file page setup all over again. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can make your own inserts a lot easier now. Um, yeah, so. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.